I'd like to talk about audio recording techniques, more specifically um, techniques to capture room sounds, uh, ambient recording. Um, have you ever been in a situation where maybe there's an acoustical music performance or maybe you want to just capture something using your camera phone or video camera? At the time it sounds great um, because the ultimate microphone is our human ear and then the processing that occurs within our brain, the signal processing. Um, microphones have come a long way in fidelity, but um, I'm sure you've realized that when you sometimes are in a room, maybe you're, if you're pro audio recording, you're trying to capture a drum kit. And it sounds great when you're in the room, but when you try to capture it and you play it back later, it doesn't sound the same. Um, you've probably seen this microphone configuration um, using two small condenser, uh, diaf small diaphragm condenser microphones. Um, and this is actually a very common uh, configuration, very close together, off axis, and to as to eliminate certain phase distortion when they're farther apart, and maybe you know, phased willy-nilly, they, they may sound, uh, the phasing gets strange, I'll get into that in a second. Um, this is something I made myself, and it borrows concepts of PZM, you may have heard of PZM, or uh, boundary mic microphone. PZM is a trademark of Crown International. The original PZM is very interesting. Uh, these are my homemade PZM microphones. Uh, I borrowed a couple of things um, here. Uh, the way the PZMs work has to do with the elimination of comb filtering and or phase distortion by taking an omni omnidirectional electric um, condenser mic and placing it next to a surface or boundary thus eliminating comb filtering or phase distortion. Original miking techniques would have a room and you'd have your audio source and you'd have a microphone. Now the sound would hit the diaphragm directly but it would also bounce off walls and hit the microphone at a delay. Thus the frequency response would be something like um, here phase out and that's why they call it comb filtering because there'd be phase interference at these at these frequencies because of the delay and the phasing that would occur so what crown did originally is they created okay you have your audio source and you would point the diaphragm directly at this wall so now no longer are they are this direct sound waves hitting the diaphragm they're all just hitting the diaphragm at the same time and frequency response would be something like you know just maybe a little interference but it'd be pretty flat and that's where the electric um, condenser comes in too because it has a, a very you know I've seen frequency responses from about five cycles up to fifty thousand cycles which is why you can see in my homemade ones, I'm using a measurement mic which employ the uh, now these are very inexpensive Behringer measurement microphones which have electric condensers in them what I've done is I've just taken a couple of scrap pieces of wood um, epoxied a perspex plexiglass on top of it for a higher reflectivity for higher frequencies drilled holes, put threaded rod took a couple of hose clamps and cut a piece, couple pieces of PVC um, to sort of keep this from marring the outside of this Behringer measurement mic and now the Behringers are way cheaper I mean the real expensive ones are like Earthworks and other brands that are you know these microphones are made for measuring the acoustics of a room that's why they have such a a great frequency response but uh, I've just sort of duct taped them together and I normally just 
record sort of in this uh, V pattern, maybe uh, 90 degrees, maybe a little less than 90 degrees for the binaural uh, characteristics that is meant to sort of emulate what our human ears do for directional and binaural miking. And um, like I said, I've used this for 10 years. Uh, I record drums with it or anything where I want to capture what the room sounded like originally in the performance. Well, that's the basic concept. The point is to um, experiment.